So let's see if we can learn something about ESLint here. I want to create a fresh project here. So I'll go into my source directory someplace where I can do a little bit of work. I could go to the temp directory might be another choice. And then what I'll do is I'll run create react app on ESLint test. So this will go out and build a project called Yes, Lint test. And now it's built. And so I can CD into that directory. And then what I'll do is I'll run get gist. Okay. Now, <clears throat> is there any chance that you don't have get gist on your system? As long as you've got pristine Ubuntu or somehow or another set up things with JS objects. And to confirm that you have it and have the latest stuff, go into JS Objects and do a git poll to make sure you're getting the latest. And then type SLB and in the setup Linux box directory, run create symbolic links. And now you can see I already had them all set up, but if there had been one that was missing, it would have appeared here and you can see that one of them is called get gist. And if you've done those two things, then you're good. You have get gist on your system. And because it's in the bin directory, then that means it'll be on your path and you can simply CD into our source. So I'm going back to where we were. And now if I just type get gist, it pops up this little menu here and we want to get all four files. We want to get ESLint RC. We want to get ESLint ignore. We want to get E prettier and we want to get F. Um, I think the run all option, which ought to work, doesn't quite yet work. I'll get that to work, <clears throat> but, um, I just went ahead and manually got them all and that's just the way it is right now. And then if you look here, you can see that if we do you can see that we've downloaded some more files here and they've been added and we want to chmod plus x prettier. And now when we run it, everything looks good. So let's just do an initial test just to see how things are going. We get back when we run ESLint, I ran ESLint space period. And when I ran it, it's complaining mostly about spaces here. It feels the files aren't properly formatted. Well, <clears throat> actually ESLint knows how to fix that, but Prettier is really good at fixing it, or at least I believe it is. So we'll run prettier. I write done dot slash prettier. Now when we when we wrote chmod or however you're supposed to pronounce it plus x we changed the formatting on prettier so that it had executable permissions for everything for the user for the group and for others. Everybody's got executable permissions on prettier. So we can execute it. And if you're going to execute a file in the same directory where you are, you do dot slash prettier. And you can see that it changed two files, app.js and app.test. And it left index.js alone because it liked it. And you can see app.test.js and app.js were the two ones where there were problems, right? So neither ESLint nor prettier thought there was anything wrong with index, yet they both felt app.js and app test JS weren't so good. So I tab up to ESLint and I run it again and it comes back clean. So let's just run one other test. Let's go genie and open up source app JS, right? And let's intentionally make an error of the trivial kind and we'll change single quotes to double quotes. So our code still works. Why don't I open it up 
so that it leaves in a separate process, so it leaves our command prompt alone. So now if I run eslint dot, it comes back and tells me there's a problem in app.js, strings must use single quote. Now it happens that this kind of error is one that eslint knows how to fix. So you can do eslint dash dash fix, and then the period again. So it's like eslint space period, but it's eslint with a argument passed to it. And now it claimed it went out and fixed it. We'll run eslint, it comes back clean. We go back over to Genie and it tells us the file is changed on disk and it wants to know if we want to reload it and we reload it and look, the fix was made automatically. So now when I run prettier, it comes back clean. They're all that light gray or dark gray or whatever it is. None of them are bright. And when I run ESLint, it comes back clean. And Charlie would be happy if this was the status of one of your programs. So let's switch over here and um, let's, I'm in a project now where I happen to know there are a few problems. So I'm going to run get gist, get gist again, and I'll, I'll, I'll fix this so we don't have to do it this way. And I ran C, D, E, F and got the uh, two ES lint, the two prettier files. I'll exit, I'll chamod plus X prettier. I'll run ESLint period, and we're getting back nine different problems. Index.js is missing a semicolon, and app is not defined, and things like that. So I'll try ESLint dash dash fix period. And now, you can see it fixed a lot of the errors for us, um, but there are some things that are not fixed for us automatically. So I will in Genie open up source address test JS, and it's telling me that in there app is not defined. It looks like on line 18, 24, and 30. So I'll look down on 18 and it says app is not defined. So that's because I'm not importing it or because I don't want to use it. I think in this particular case, the problem is, is that I do in fact, since it's an address test, I do in fact want to be testing it. So I'll go ahead and put it in. And here are the three cases where it was problems with it. I have no idea whether this code in this file is valid or not. So then I'll come back here and now I don't need the fix anymore. I just need ESLint. Um, and we can see that we got it down to one error now. Just let's make that clear. You can see there's only one error. I'm not gonna fix that error because um, I, I don't want to do that now. I've explained that particular problem in, in more depth elsewhere. But now you should have a general feeling of what we want here and what we're going to do. I tell you what, I have a better solution. So what I ended up doing was um, I went into here and I added imported prop types. And then down here I defined my prop types. And now when we come back to the command prompt,
we still have a problem because I didn't do it right. Um, I haven't saved my file. It's in red up there. So now I'll run ESLint and it comes back clean. And this is what you want. This is what I'm looking for here. One way or another, you've got to get it so it comes back clean. Then when I see your code, so what you should then do is get status. You can see what's been added and what's been modified. And you can see here's our four new files. And here were the ones that got changed either by Prettier or by us or by ESLint. And then we do git add, git commit. Working with prettier and ESLint. And then git push. And then once you've pushed, you want to make sure what you pushed really worked. So you type prettier. And then you type G. You type get status. And you can see that when we ran prettier, it changed everything. Okay. So we're not really happy yet because we don't want to have files that are changed. Now we want to make sure that running prettier didn't mess anything up. I wasn't expecting all this to happen. I think I'm just still not feeling very well. So that comes back clean. And now when I run prettier, everything comes back gray. So it showed no changes happen. So get add, get status to make sure that we're checking in what we expect. And then <clears throat> get add, get status. Oh, I see that's from a different program. So get commit prettier update with the slint. And get push. And now I then once again run prettier. This time they all come back gray, so I know that's happy and ESLint period, and that comes back and I'm happy. Now you might notice that right now, here's a git tip, that in a different folder, there's a dress show, I have some changes in it that haven't been um, checked in yet. So I just checked in the things from this folder, which is often all you want to do. If you did, you could go back and do a git diff and see what the changes are to it. And it looks like there was some changes made. It looks like a, a space was removed from one of the lines. So I'm happy with checking that in. Looks like just a space was removed here. So I'll do a git add, git commit, remove space from address show. And then a git push. And now um, one can see that everything is clean. We have the green, which shows everything's done. All right, that went on a whole lot longer than I thought it would, but maybe some of that, mostly probably the first two minutes, was useful to you. Thank you.